Mark, um, it's been a good homestand. You guys had a little bit of a snag, you know, in the beginning of it, but you ended with a lot of with a kind of a, with a bang. What did you see from your, what did you, were your overall thoughts on the homestand and, and your team from tonight? Well, the homestand, uh, I, you know, different lineups all the time again, you know, and we're, we're at the very beginning, we, we didn't have our players back. And then after probably halfway through, we started getting uh, some players back. And, and some of those players are, were uh, ready to go, you know, they'd played with the Jets and then some other players were coming back from injuries like Sandberg and Gustafson. So uh, it's taken them a while to find their game or, uh, you know, like that's to me what the homestand was about is making sure they got enough ice and enough uh, gradual work into it. And uh, I, I think the homestand was successful for the amount of points we got, but probably more successful uh, for us getting uh, those guys back in the lineup and back up to uh, our systems and how uh, back up to their the way they played before they left, you know, from the injury. So um yeah i mean pretty happy with the way it, way it uh, ended and uh, happy the way with some of those players look and is tonight's game kind of an example of your season because it was hard to pick stars tonight because everybody contributed and that just seems to be the story since the day one yeah it's uh it, it's funny because i had a meeting with i had a meeting with them and i was talking about um and this isn't uh you know this isn't anything negative towards them it's just it shows our team uh depth is that uh, i had a meeting and i said something about uh, i don't you know i i said i don't think we have anyone in the top 30 scoring and everyone looked around the room and, and i never did my homework on it and i found out later that we we don't have anyone in the top 100 you know and and that goes a long ways though like when you think about you know the amount of points we have and uh how we compete in games uh it just shows you it doesn't matter if, if everybody contributes and uh, that's what they have special about playing at home i mean it's obviously it's better when you have a crowd like tonight almost five thousand people yeah but you guys are 19 6 0 and 2 so far here in winnipeg so is there something different that just seems to be working or it's just i mean again you guys have a good road record as well but the home record is excellent it's excellent yeah um yeah i don't know you know i i think uh they they enjoy uh it's probably easier you know they a lot of them live right by the rink here it's uh it's more convenient and you get used to your own rink. Uh, I think the fans play a role too. Like, uh, you know, in the, in the previous season and even early on, like not a lot of fans in the building, it shut down because of COVID and now they're starting to come back in and it's, uh, it's exciting. Um, and I think the last two or three games we've had good crowds, like, and it's been fun for them. Uh, the bench is more lively um, just because, you know, and, and also those momentum swings, when the fans are yelling and screaming, it's uh, it's coming back. So I think that's a lot to do with it. Is there an, ex an excitement with this group? Because last year, there wasn't the carrot to the angle of the playoffs. They didn't right. have that. And this team still killed it. They still worked their ass off. They still tried really right. hard to to show each other, you know, to, for, to play for each other. Yeah. But they didn't have the playoffs to kind of, you know, that's the ultimate reward. Yeah. This year, can you kind of sense that these guys have that same passion, but now they have that reward of the playoffs? Yeah, for sure. And I... You know, like I think it's something that we we talked about right at the beginning of the year is that we wanted to be a playoff team. That was our our goal, and and we brought it up. And we haven't really talked about it a lot, like as it's gone on. But I think in the back of their minds, um, we have they know that that's where uh, success comes for individuals as well as team uh, in playoffs. As you know, it comes for uh, there's a lot of a lot of scouts watching playoff games. It's a higher tempo hockey. And the biggest thing about it is uh, it's your the development process through playoffs is, you know, it's huge. It's, uh, you know, some people say it, uh, two rounds of playoffs is like a season of, of games. So um, I, I think that they look forward to that, you know, and to be have success as a group will help them individually. We'll go next to Patrick Williams from the AHL.com. Go ahead, Patrick. Yes, I'm Mark. Uh, you have uh, Nick Hutchinson in and he back to back games that he scored. And uh, what do you see from a player like that, you know, coming in on a PTO? And how do you try to integrate him into the lineup, both, uh, you know, on the ice as well as off the ice? Well, off the ice, it's been incredible uh, to integrate any of these players. And it really has nothing to do with me. Uh, we have an unbelievable core group and a group in the dressing room that helps everybody uh, new or anybody that comes into this group from a PTO from the ECHL or anywhere else, uh, they do it themselves. And 
you know, that goes from our captain right to Jeff Penlot, uh Meyer, Jones. Like I could go Kovacevic. I could go through the whole group. Those are good people. And uh, they bring people into that group real fast. And so off the ice, that's what happens. On the ice, it helps them as well because, you know, they feel comfortable. Um, I talked to Hutch yesterday about it a little bit and how he was feeling just to touch base with them. And he said he's, he's never had more fun. So, uh, you know, that's a credit to our group. And then just a follow-up to that, uh, you know, players in that situation, you know, they come in and they want to kind of make an impression, but, you know, how do they walk the line between uh, trying to play their game and do what got them to this point, but not uh, kind of try to do too much? Yeah, you know, I I, I think they play within the system for sure. Um, but I think the, the key there would be uh, for me is um, just being aggressive, trying to play your game. Um, not be uh, paused, I should say, by uh, system play. And we try to give them freedom to do that. You know, like there's a couple things we want you to do system wise, but go play your game, show us what you have. And uh, he's done a great job of that.